Hi, I'm Dr. Lee from Your Vet Online, and today we're going to be talking all about inflammatory airway disease in the horse. And we've got some special people here to join us. And we can see they've just had their little ride, and yeah. Today we're in the middle of an arena, and we're watching some horses do some exercise. And they're just they're not doing too much because these horses have been struggling a lot with the fires and all the smoke as well as drought did you hear that that was a lovely cough and what we're seeing is that there's been an increased amount of inflammation in the horse's lungs these horses so it's a combination factor really is to do with the drought so there's a lot of dust happening and then we've also got the issue with the smoke from the fires so what we're seeing is we're seeing that these horses obviously we're getting lots of particulate matter that is entering their lungs and a lot of them are just struggling that little bit you might see them have weepy eyes so a lot of them are getting a little bit of conjunctivitis or just you know mucky eyes and then some of them are having a bit of a cough and sneeze more so than usual now when this happens and if it doesn't settle then we do need to do some more investigating and to investigate these problems what we do is we have to put a scope down their nose and what we do is we're looking for any discharge that's lying there in the trachea and further down into the bronchi into the bronchial tubes now that's not all though to actually diagnose what's going on and to differentiate whether we've got a primary inflammation or whether it's actually a bacterial infection then we need to actually do some testing of all that discharge. So we do that by doing what we call a tracheal wash or a bronchio alveolar lavage and that's where we basically put a whole heap of water, sterile water that is, down into the lungs and then we draw it back out straight away and we send that off to be analysed for the type of cells that are present. When we do that we're looking to see whether there is a high count of either something like neutrophils with bacteria which would indicate it's a bacterial infection or macrophages that can also say it's maybe bacterial or an inflammatory problem that's been going on for some time and also for allergy type cells so like eosinophils i will try and pop some of these down in the in the notes section so you can have a look at what i'm talking about here and we might even add them some of them to this video the other thing that we've got to think about then is once we get a diagnosis and we know we we're dealing with a primary bacterial problem or whether we're talking maybe an inflammatory problem so we then look at treatment so in the case of Hallie here who is currently behind us and hopefully you can see her there her problem is related to inflammation and the treatment for those sorts of cases is often to open up the airways with a bronchodilator so for things um, that we often use for that is something like Ventolin um, Clenbuterol is another one and then also to settle down inflammation we're going to be looking at using something like a steroid so often that can be um, something like Flexitide and we give those via a puffer system um, across the nose which we can show you from some pictures there we give those daily and that helps to open up the airways and settle down the inflammation. Basically it's just like what you do to yourself if you were an asthmatic. Some of these problems can take quite some time to settle and it can be a frustrating thing because ideally you want to be trying to keep dust load to a minimum so watering down a watering down your if they're kept on sand keeping the sand watered down so that there's no dust and keeping all that sort of thing um, really at a minimum and it can be really tough work the majority of these horses do settle down after some time and particularly if it is a cause such as dust and you know smoke from the fires then we're look, not looking at that this would be necessarily a long-term problem all right then guys i hope that is a nice little explanation for you if you liked this video make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel thanks heaps for that we'll talk to you soon bye